Hi friends, um, still still in Tennessee. Look at this, be the beautiful Tennessee River. I'm at a boat landing this morning, um, doing my little walk before breakfast. But I, I wanted to just grab the camera and keep talking a little bit about um, homesteading and self-sustainability. And, and you know, I, get, I did that video just a little while ago. Watch it about um, Redoubt being re rewritten because I really think that uh, the James Wesley Rawls book is very outdated when it comes to where to move now. It has great information about the climate and everything like that, but um, the demographics and, and the, the prices uh, of housing and land have, have so changed. And uh, there's places that are more, um, a more um, bargain bargains than uh, some of the, the, the top readout states that he wrote about at one time. Uh, and it was quite a while that he wrote that book. So it really needs to be revamped. And, uh, and that's why I did the video. Dad, I'm going to, I have to go back home because I got to eat some breakfast. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, a ministry idea uh, that uh, um, me and Chris have been working on, and I haven't had a big announcement yet, but I am in Tennessee for a reason, uh, because uh, I've been asked to join a ministry, to actually spearhead a ministry with Chris and, and uh, uh, an awesome couple in Christ. These people are just phenomenal, um, uh, Melissa and Scott. Um, these people have um, opened up their pocketbook um, and their hearts to do God's work and to pour everything into his kingdom work. I've never met people like, I mean, they're, they're out there. Um, I have another friend that has done the same thing and she's just a, a beautiful sister in Christ. And, you know, some people have the gift of giving financially and, um, Scott and Melissa are very involved in doing God's work and they, if they, if you have a ministry idea and you're willing to work for the Lord, they're willing to help. And so um, they're actually um, pouring into the women's ministry that uh, um, I really want to, uh, I have a heart for, that the Lord put on my heart, actually. Also, uh, they are pouring into a storefront. And so the storefront, we've been uh, looking at ideas of how to bring the public in and how to minister to them. And uh, we went, me and Chris went to uh, that retreat a couple days ago in Alabama that I posted a video on, and I'll tell you about that soon. Uh, but the word um, health and homesteading came up, and Chris is like, that's it? That's, that's it? What do you think? Health and homesteading. And you know, I told him, I said, you know, I've, I've been kind of preaching that on my channel, the importance of our health. Um, and, and, you know, I've always preached homesteading, but the importance of our health in that picture, we cannot effectively sustain, number one, without God. You know, he's our sustainer, and if he's not on our homestead, we're not going to be successful, okay? We know that. That's a give me. But the rest of that is the, the health message that I've been preaching and it's a powerful message because there's so many churches that have overlooked um, teaching the believer that the body, our body, which is our temple, we need to walk in obedience with taking care of it and treating it as the temple of God, treating it as it should be treated with respect and honor and dignity. And uh, we cannot have a successful homestead if we are not taking care of our health. And it's not just about taking care of the health, it's about taking care of the body of Christ, which he died for. Our body belongs to Christ. So even though our bodies are broken and in, always in a, a constant state of decay, one of the things I love about this health message is that it brings us to the foot of the cross and it, it makes us recognize that um, it's more than just, oh, we shouldn't smoke or, or drink. We know those things are bad. But recognizing that we all should be eating properly. We all should be exercising. We all should be getting out and enjoying the creation that, that God, you know, he made this for us. And, and, and trying to obtain the best health 
that we can. You know, the beautiful thing about these lifestyle centers, and we're going to have one in Waynesboro, and uh, um, I, I'm going to just keep plugging away that, you know, anybody who has any health issues, we're going to be open for business soon, and it's going to be affordable. You know, we we can spend hundreds of dollars on junk food and, and, and food that is killing us, but we won't doyle out, you know, $50, $60 a day to go eat whole foods, get treatment, and reverse our disease. You know, people are like bumbling or grumbling about the cost. And those, and those who can really afford it are saying, you know, oh, well, $80 a day, that's just ridiculous. We can't even stay at an Airbnb or a hotel for $80, and all you get is a bed. And you still got to buy your food. So, you know, we will be offering a service uh, that I will guarantee you'll lose weight. I'll guarantee you'll get off of your diabetic medications. I'll guarantee you'll get off of your, your lisinopril. I'll guarantee it because I've seen it with my own eyes. I have seen it with my own eyes over and over again. There's a reason why I left nursing. And it's because I don't believe in the health system anymore because it is so broken, it's keeping people sick. And so the lifestyle center, I have, a, I have a great passion for that too, and we're going to have that. But we're also going to have a storefront, and uh, we're going to be focusing, like I said, on health and homesteading. They have to go hand in hand. And so, um, you know, I see, uh, you know, on YouTube, there's a lot of homesteading channels, and I don't watch them anymore. But from the past, I do remember that there's a lot of homesteaders that are not the picture of health. And, you know, they're out there preaching self-sustainability. And yet I look at them and, and they're, you know, they've got, you know, issues with being overweight. Um, they're hard workers. There's no doubt about that. But you can tell that they're in ill health, you know, uh, when they're carrying an excess of 20, 30, 40 pounds on their body. And, um, you know, they're, they're eating uh, things that they, I mean, you know, Lots of sugar, lots of high fat foods and, and bacon and, and you know, um, casseroles with a lot of cheese and, you know, you know um, that's not homesteading, sharing recipes that are going to give you a heart attack. And we have to, we have to be honest about our health and our habits. You know, sitting down and having coffee time, uh, coffee is horrible on our system. It constricts the blood vessels. It, it releases dopamine. And then after a while, it messes up your hormones, you know, and it's cancer causing the stuff that that coffee does. And yet we're sitting down and having coffee time. And, you know, and I used to be the same, you know, I didn't have the best diet either. But we have to change our lifestyle as homesteaders. And, and we, we're doing this because we love God, because we love what God has done. We, 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 we see his sacrifice, and we know that he died for this body. We know he died for this body. So I'm just encouraging people to um, pay attention and uh, really start looking at their lifestyle habits and what they're eating and what they're consuming and really be honest with their own health and start making changes because you aren't going to have a successful homestead if you're in poor health. And I'll tell you what, things are going to get worse. Things are going to get very, very bad. And all the preps, I've said this before, all the preps in the world and, and the biggest pantry is not going to sustain you. It is going to be God and your health. All right, my can you see me? There we go. All right, my friends. Uh, sometimes, you know what? When I preach it, it can be a little harsh, but I've been a nurse for a long time, and I have to be transparent and real and to the point when it comes to these matters, because it matters. And if, if, if I don't speak the truth, who else is going to speak it? So I'm, I'm preaching it this morning. You need to wake up when it comes to your health.